Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding equations of tangents and normals to parabolas. And in this example, we're going to look at how we find the equation of a tangent to a parabola when it's given in parametric form. For this example, we've got a parabola which has the parametric equation x equals 2t squared, y equals 4t. And we've got to find the equation of tangents and normals at the point where t equals minus 2. So first of all, we need to find out whereabouts on this parabola the point is where t is minus 2. So we need to establish the x and y coordinates. So when t equals minus 2, we can substitute minus 2 into here to get x and y. So therefore we have x equals 2 multiplied by minus 2 all squared and that clearly is equal to 8. And also for y, y would be equal to 4 times t, 4 times minus 2, so that's going to be minus 8. So we're looking at a point say like this one here, 8 across, 8 down, 8 minus 8. And we're trying to establish then the equation of the tangent at that point, so look something like that say, and the equation of the corresponding normal looks something like that, at right angles then to the tangent. Now in the usual way we need to find the gradient of the tangent, which will be the gradient of the curve then at this point. And that means that we've got to differentiate the equation for the curve to find the gradient at any general point. We've got to find dy by dx in other words. And so if we've got to find dy by dx, let's just put this down here, dy by dx, how are we going to do it? Well the best way of doing it when you've got parametric equations is to use the chain rule. In other words, dy by dx is the same as dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. The chain rule. It's as if these dt's cancel, just leaving you with dy over dx. So we need dy by dt to do this. So if we come up here, let's just say therefore dy by dt, what's that going to equal? Well if we differentiate y with respect to t, we're just going to get 4. And we also need dt dx, but we can get dx by dt and then invert it. So dx by dt, if we differentiate it, is going to be 4t. So when it comes to working out dy by dx, we'll therefore have dy by dx equals dy by dt, which is 4, multiplied by dt by dx. So we need to invert this, reciprocate it, so it'll be 1 over 4t. So it's being multiplied by 1 over 4t. And if we clean this up, the two 4s cancel, so you're just left with 1 over t. So we didn't need to find the Cartesian equation, that is eliminate the parameter t, in order to find dy by dx. So this is often a preferred method. So now that we've got the gradient of the tangent in general, 1 over t, we can find it then at the point when t equals minus 2. So when t equals minus 2, we therefore have dy by dx equals 1 over minus 2, in other words, minus 1 half. So in the usual way, we should be able to now find, therefore, the equation of the tangent. We'll just put a header here, the equation of tangent, and we'll say at t equals minus 2. And what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be, we'll put is, it's going to be y, we're, well, we're going to use y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So we've got y minus y1 minus minus 8, so that's plus 8, equals m, the gradient, which we've just seen is minus a half, multiplied by x minus x1, x minus x1 at 8. And you can 
now rearrange this into any format that uh, might be asked okay like in form y equals mx plus c or ax plus by plus c equals zero whatever okay or you could leave it like that if they don't uh, ask you to put it in any, in any particular form and when it comes to finding the equation of the normal here then all we need to do is get the reciprocal of this gradient and then negate it so in other words we've also got uh, the gradient of the normal gradient of normal at t equals minus 2 well that's going to be equal to or just put is here if we reciprocate this change the sign as well you're just going to get 2 so therefore the equation of that normal again just put a header here of the normal at t equals minus 2 well that's going to be simply again y minus y1 y minus minus 8 so that's going to be plus 8 equals m the gradient which is now going to be 2 multiplied by x minus x1 x1 being 8 so again there's your equation and you can then carry on to put it in any particular format that you wish so hope it's given you an idea then how we could go about this example where we've got an equation for a parabola in parametric form and we've got to find the equation of tangent and normal when we're given the value of t